turn around and just tease me, baby. You got what I want and what I need, baby. Let me hear you say, please. Let me hear you say. Alright guys, welcome back to another video. You already know, it's your girl Nika the Bestest. And I'm coming back at you guys with another video because I wanted to give you guys a blue look. Like, y'all ready? Y'all ready? Okay, bet. Let's get right into it. So, we're just starting out with the eyebrows, right? And I'm doing it lightly. You know, if you want a brow tutorial, you can give this video a like. And depending on the likes, I'll get back to you on that. Um, now I'm starting to highlight right under the brow. I can definitely go in depth with a brow video. So like I said, give this video a thumbs up and I will let you guys know. Okay, now I'm starting to highlight right on my lid. I'm using the same highlighter I used under my brow so there wouldn't be a color contrast or anything like that. Then I'm blending out with my finger, as you can see. And I'm just doing the same thing on the other side. Now you are going to start to blend with a color. I'm using like a light, very, very light orange, slightly mixed with a peach color in there. You can use any eyeshadow that has this similar color. It does not have to be a high-end or a drugstore. It could be anything of your preference. And now I'm getting right to the cut crease and I'm trying to be as focused as possible, you guys. Like, <laughs> I'm not a master of the cut crease, so this is quite interesting. Um, I'm just trying to take my time, and especially if you're, you're doing the cut crease on yourself, you just want to make sure it's as neatly as can be. Now I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye. Here I'm adding in my first layer of blue and as you guys can see in the background, that is my boyfriend. He just got me some golden chick and I was trying to let him know he was in the way but he's finally out the way. So yes, I'm just applying the blue and I'm applying this blue shadow from Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes and I know not many drugstore palettes have this pop of color so wherever you can find a nice blue of your choice that is very pigmented you can use it and use it at your own pace use it at your own risk as well so just have fun play around with it I will say you guys this look was kind of frustrating for me I'm not even gonna lie, it was wild frustrating for me because I was playing around with the colors and I realized that I didn't really like how I applied it on the cut crease. Look at that other side, it just didn't apply evenly. So, you know, with practice makes perfect. Um, and like I said, uh, it's just my beginner's instinct, I guess, because I haven't been doing this for a while. I feel like this eye that I'm doing currently looks better than the other side, but again, I still wasn't happy with it. And that is bound to happen when it comes to makeup looks and when it comes to being creative in general. When you have that creative drive, 
you're going to have disappointments and it's not going to come out the way you look you think it will be so here I'm applying a darker color and I'm trying to blend in the blue some more instead of giving it that sharp cut crease look at the end towards the end of the eye because I really was frustrated with it and um, slowly but surely I was I was getting somewhere after I did some blending and now I'm applying my foundation um, yeah I'm just applying my foundation um, not much hair but just apply and blend it out Now I'm starting to apply my concealer and I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and when I tell you this is the best affordable concealer ever, girl you better get your hands on it. This is the cool tan color. I know, I know, I know a lot of people use Fawn and I know I use Fawn as well but today I was feeling a little daring and I went for a brighter color. Now I know the look looks crazy right now, but trust the process. It will come together in the end and I'm just trying to blend. I'm putting setting powder on right now. You can use any setting powder of your choice. And the trick here guys is to blend, 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 blend. I can't say it enough. And I'm using this puffy brush. It's so fluffy. It blends everything out smoothly. As you can see, there's no harsh lines on my face unless it's the brows definitely <laughs> now I'm putting on some highlighter just to make that face glow girl yep 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 now I'm putting on some um, brown lip liner you can use any brown lip liner of your choice it does not matter where it's from now I'm putting on this bright pink lip gloss and it has really nice shimmers in it I love it love this mixture together it always makes my lip pop spray 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 and the look is all done guys yep I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I really do please give this video a thumbs up comment subscribe and trust me I'll catch you guys in the next one look how I'm bumping yes